All right, so you're here to move, so let's start moving. I'm Margaret Martin, I'm your guide, I'm a registered physical therapist, and I have developed aerobic programs specifically to be safe for people with osteoporosis, but also to help them build their bones. This is a sample of my active level. I hope you enjoy it. All right, remembering our control step. Always here for you to make adjustments. And we are going to start with working upper back, heel tap. We're aiming for about eight, alternating steps, and then we'll do eight on the side and the other side. Good, and one, two. Make sure that you are sitting back with each step. That keeps your knee in a safe place and makes your leg work really hard. Work your back, pull it back. That's it, almost done. Good job, back to your march. Nice. Toe touch back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna do that eight more. One, two, three. Good job. That's it. Nice reach. And into a march. Our next step is gonna involve a sideways M movement. All right, you'll notice the M we are following. You don't need to draw one on the floor. All right, with our next move, three different foot to taps. Always come back to the one that feels right for you. One, two, three. Good job. The side to side movement, so important. We're gonna come back to our eight count in between. On the next one, if you feel like you just tap down with your toe, as opposed to actually putting your foot down, let's do it. Good job. Nice. And on this last one, we're going to try to not touch down at all. You can bring your foot to the opposite ankle if you want. Good job. And march it. Great job. And now we're going to move on to the next set of moves. All right. Um, I am moved over just a tiny bit because we're going to be going side to side. Our base step is our march. One. Three. Make sure you get that butt behind you, almost like you're going to be sitting on a chair behind you. Bend your hip. Let your knee follow. Back to your base step in the center. Change sides. Good job. Nice. Nice, one more. New base step, we're heel bouncing. Nice. All that bouncing work, all this loading is great for our bones. Back to our heel bounce. Opposite side. Got ahead of myself there, almost started to jump. Guessed it. That is going to be our next move. If the moves ever feel too tough, just go back to the ones that felt right. Jump. Nice.
Good job. And that's, we're just gonna cool it down on this side. Nice. March it. We are going to be reaching back to stretch out our quads. Reach. Even if you do not touch your heel, no worries. The fact that you're just getting your heel up and back towards your butt, that's all that counts. We're doing a second eight count. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. March it out. Excellent. I'm moving over just a wee bit because we're going to be doing sash arms, stepping sideways. One, two, behind. One, two, behind. Open those arms. Back. Back. Good job. That's it. And we'll take a six back. Well done. March it out. And now we're going on to our next set of moves. All right, with this next grouping of exercises or moves, I like to call them, uh, we are going to be going back into familiar territory if you joined me on season two, but with a little twist. All right, let's get going. Two, high knees. High knees, good job. Got it. Two more. Nice. Back to your march. We're gonna work our upper arms a little bit. Moving on a diagonal. Toe touch back with a low row. And one, three, four, four more. Change sides. And high row. And four more. Pull it back. Feel those shoulder blades squeezing together. Good job. March it out. Very nice. Moving just a little bit to the side. We're doing a cross behind. Hands together, cross behind. Hands together, up. Hands together, cross behind. Hands together, up. Hands together, cross behind. Hands together, up. Always great for our balance to learn new moves. Nice. Let's take it one more to each side. Nice. Good job. We are going into a delicious cool down now. Well deserved. And let's just march it from the ankles first. Nice and easy. We're going to take a couple of side steps from side to side. Just let the hips relax. Good. Nice. And let's take that behind step. Forward and tap. Behind, forward and tap. Just nice to introduce new movements that we might not have seen in a while. Always great for keeping our agility up. So very important as we get older. But the real treat here is stretching out our neck. So we're going to warm up this whole area by starting at our feet. Think about grounding yourself, putting nice even weight through the base of your big toe, fifth toe, center of your heels, soft knees, long and tall through your body, crown of your head reaching up. And inhale as shoulders come up towards your ears, exhale back and around. Inhale up towards your ears. Exhale back and around. Good. Let's just do that twice more. And around. Good. Breath in. Look as far as you can over your shoulder. And back to center. Lovely. Inhale as far as you can over the opposite shoulder. Very nice. We're going to do that twice more. Breath. You can 
encourage a little more movement if that's comfortable for you just bringing your hand behind your head and down same thing other side keeping your nose on the same plane the whole time you're looking back beautiful down keeping your knees soft the whole time through the stretch lovely and on our next move we're going to keep the nose pointing straight ahead as we bring our ear down towards the shoulder and the opposite ear is trying to reach up so you're lengthening the side of your neck that you're stretching very nice and then back nice and tall bring yourself so that the crown of your head is reaching back up and take it to the opposite side this is your well-deserved stretch and if ever you feel tight through the neck shoulders these are wonderful to come back to through the day let's do that one more time each side it's always great to stretch through the exhale you're going to lengthen something like I'm trying to pull my neck up towards the sky and just the weight of my arm is going to help the stretch a little bit more and then I release one more time opposite side breath in exhale and you only need to bring your hand up over to the head if you're feeling like you need a little more intensity in your stretch but your stretch should always feel just like a really delicious stretch should not be painful or anything and whenever you're um, doing aerobic exercises you want to make sure that you save time in your day to also do some strength training so very important for our bones and for quality of life so that you age feeling great and doing all the things you love to do and here's a great playlist on the active strength exercises that i have through Amelia guide i hope you enjoy them be strong thanks for joining me